Hello friends and welcome back to another virtual story time with Miss Liz and Seo Unali which is hello friends in the Cherokee language. Today we are continuing our week of stories centering indigenous peoples and today's book is about food. In particular, it's about a food that means a lot to many Native American tribes. The story for today is called Fry Bread, a Native American family story. It's written by Kevin Noble Maylard and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal, and it's published by Macmillan Publishers. Let's see what's gonna happen. Hmm, if you look on the inside of this cover, there are all these names. We're gonna find out later in the story what these names are and what they mean. Fry Bread, a Native American family story by Kevin Maylard, illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. Fry Bread is food. Flour, salt, water, cornmeal, baking powder, perhaps milk, maybe sugar, all mixed together in a big bowl. Looks like all of these kids have ingredients to put in this bowl to make some bread together. Ooh, looks yummy. Fry bread is shape. Hands mold the dough, flat like a pancake, round like a ball, or puffy like Nana's softest pillow. There are many different ways that it's being made. Fry bread is sound. The skillet clings on the stove. The fire blazes from below. Drop the dough in the skillet and the bubbles sizzle and pop. Fry bread is color. Golden brown, tan or yellow, deep like coffee, sienna or earth, light like snow and cream, warm like the rays of the sun. There are many ways to make it and many ways that it can look when it's finished. And you know what? I think it can be yummy in all these different ways. Fry bread is flavor. See beans or soup, smell tacos, cheese and vegetables, delight in honey and jam, rise to discover what brings us together. Here are so many things that can be paired with the fry bread, sweet and savory. Mm. Fry bread is time. On weekdays and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. Don't they look like they're having a nice time? Fry bread is art, sculpture, landscape, portrait, our daily craft, shared from teacher to student, a cycle of heritage and fortune. And I learned in the notes in the back of this book that there are often folks in Native American families that pass down their recipe of fry bread from generation to generation, like a special secret. Fry bread is history, the long walk, the stolen land, strangers in our own world, with unknown food, we made new recipes from what we had. I also learned in the back of this book that some people say that the Navajo tribe are the tribe that invented fry bread back about 150 years ago when they were told they had to leave their home in what is now Arizona and move far away to what is now New Mexico. It was a journey of over 300 miles. And when the Navajo got to their new homes, the homes that they didn't ask to be moved to, they realized that they couldn't find the same food or grow the same food that they were used to in their old lands. So they had to make new foods. And it's said that fry bread is one of the foods that they made when they had to find new ways to nourish themselves. Fry bread is place. Alaska, Kansas, all the way to Maine, down to Delaware, on to Georgia, over to Oklahoma, Colorado, and California. Cities and lands 
we call home. So this is a picture with North America and it does not have the usual lines and divisions that we might see. And you know why that is? Because the land wasn't always divided this way. It used to be just one land and people didn't divide it up the way that they did today. Fry bread is nation. Abenaki, Apache, Arapaho, Ojibwe, Onondaga, Ogwala Sioux, Narragansett, Navajo, Nipmuc, Seminole, Shoshone, Sac, and Fox. Hundreds and hundreds of tribes. Do you see all these words that they are looking at? That is what we see on the inside cover of this book. Many, many names of hundreds of Native American tribes. And if you borrow this book or purchase this book yourself, you can read them too. Fry bread is everything. Round, flat, large, small, north, south, east, west, brown, yellow, black, white, familiar and foreign, old and new, we come together. Fry bread is us. We are still here, elder and young, friend and neighbor. So I wanna pause on this page where they say we are still here. I wanna acknowledge that where I am right now in the city of Philadelphia, it is land of the Lenny Lenape tribe. And over time, the city of Philadelphia was constructed and new people moved here, but it remains land of the Lenny Lenape. And Lenny Lenape people still live here and they have not disappeared. It's important to acknowledge that there are other roots of the land that we live on than the ones that we're familiar with. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Fry bread is you. Oh, look at this picture with this young kid eating that fry bread. Don't they look so happy? Mm. So friends, that is the end of the story, but at the end of this book, there is so much great information to help you learn a bit more. First, the author, Kevin, gives his recipe for fry bread, and you can make it yourself. And then, later, in the notes, there is information about what this story is really about and more history of Native American tribes. There's more information and more information and more information. I don't have time to read it all today, but I encourage you to do some more research and educate yourself about where this book starts and the other things that you can learn beyond this book. And that, my friends, is truly the end. Here are the family and friends that we saw in the story. Don't they look so happy? That was a very beautiful book. So again, if you're interested in reading this book and learning more, the title is Fry Bread, A Native American Family Story by Kevin Noble Maylard and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. Thank you all for tuning in this week as we read books centering Indigenous peoples. And I'll be back tomorrow to read another story like this. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.